Hi guys, welcome to my channel Power of PowerPoint by Shruti Sharma. I'm here to help professionals like you make more effective presentation using various tools that PowerPoint offers. Today we are going to learn how to remove background of images in PowerPoint. So be it a logo, a vector image or a real life photograph. So we will learn how to remove background using three different methods out of which two methods are inbuilt tools of PowerPoint and one is the bonus method that I'm going to tell you where you can actually use a free website to remove any sort of background. You must have seen a lot of slides where cutouts are used on top of a imagery or a graphic because that gives the presentation a really nice 3D look. It almost looks as if the image or the cutout has been put on top of it. So how to do that? How to remove the background of any image so that you can use it as an individual cutout is something we are going to learn today. Even in YouTube thumbnails, you'll see a lot of cutouts of people, characters, caricatures, etc. because it instantly elevates the look and feel of the graphic. Let's start with the first method that we have, which is set transparent color, which basically is used for logos or pictures which have a single color background. So, for example, if you look at this, this has a white background, right? Every picture that you see has multiple pixels and we might see only the white color, but it might have a bit of gray pixel or some other color pixels. So what we can do is go on color, click on set trans transparent color and click on the color that you want to make transparent. So since this only had white color, instantly it removed that color. But if it's a gradient or if the pixels are of different colors, then you won't be able to use this feature. I'm going to show this one to you again. So again, a single color background, there's no gradient, no multiple colors. So go to colors, set transparent color and just click on the color that you want to get rid of and you will get yourself a nice clean logo without any background. This works not only on logos but on other images as well as long as there is a single color clean background. If there is any other pattern gradient then you would have to use a different tool which we are coming to now which is remove background tool. So PowerPoint itself has a tool called remove background. I'll tell you how to use that tool to get rid of gradients or multicolored backgrounds. So before that, we'll take example of this image. So if I'm going to use the previous method of set transparent color, let's see how it works. So I want to get rid of all the white background area that you see. So for that, I'm going to go to colors, set transparent color and click on white. So now you see what happened, it has taken white from the picture overall. But I wanted white in the hands, eyes, the circle, belts, right? So I'm going to use this method called remove background. So I've clicked on remove background, it gives me option of mark areas to remove, mark areas to keep. So I want to keep the hand areas, the feet area, I want to make them white. So I'll go to mark areas to keep. Let me just zoom in and show you how it, it looks right now. So you see that most of the areas are not there. And I'll start marking the areas that I want to keep. So this could be a little tedious process because it takes time to get each and every part that you want. But in 90% of the photos, you'll be able to achieve the results using this method. So I'm going to mark each and every area, the eyes, the hands. I think I am done with it. Let's see it on full screen. Yep, perfect. So that's how you use this tool. You can click on keep changes and that's how you get your image. I'll show you one more example. Let's look at this one. There's, you can see it has a gradient look and feel, right? There are multiple colors. It's not a single color. If I use a set transparent color, this is what happens. It takes away one sort of orange but the remaining color stays. So I'm going to go to remove background, mark areas to keep and now I'm going to keep choosing the area that I think I would want. For example, his hair. 
So everything that you see in pink is gone basically. So I will restore that area using this tool. So I'm going to keep mark. I'll mark his elbows, hands, the patches. Keep drawing small lines rather than dots because I think that's quicker. So I feel if you have a bigger area, use lines because it will be much easier. I think we are almost done. We have very little area left. I will go to the feet. And I think a bit of his tie area that I still see is pink. Yeah, perfect. Let's see. And you get yourself Mr. Bean without the background and you can use it the way you want. So that's our second method on how to remove background in PowerPoint. Now I'm going to show you why do we need a third method, right? So I'll get example of a picture here. So let's take this picture for example. I'll use the same method of remove background on this one. Remove background and I'll start marking the areas that I want to keep. So now I've almost gotten most of the areas. Now I'll go to her hair. So you will see the moment I start clicking on hair, a lot of background area also comes along with it because I can't get only hair. So whenever the, the pictures are complex that have like small layers or hair and even the outline, you see it's not very, it's not very clean and sharp. It's distorted, right? So I'm going to show you another method that you can use for such pictures which you are not able to get done using this feature. So we will go to the third one which is using a free website which is remove.bg So it's a very simple website to use just go to upload image choose the image that you want to upload and click on remove background and you will get your picture with remove background less than a minute So now the only catch is you can download this picture in this resolution but if you want a high resolution you'll have to obviously pay for the app but this this size is good enough for most of the slides only if you want like a really big picture on the slide is when it becomes difficult so i'm going to show you how it looks now and it it's a very easy app to use actually if you see so that was the third method to remove background for all sorts of images it's a very very simple and easy to use website and it takes less than 30 seconds to remove the background. I'll take one more example and I'll show you how to do it. So this is the image that I'm taking to remove the background off. Go to the website remove.bg, upload the image and that's all. Within few seconds you will get your image with removed background. Another great thing about this website is you can actually choose to further edit it. If you want to remove more area, if you want to restore more area, you could do that. So I'll go to erase. I'll choose the brush size. And you can start removing the area that you want to get rid of, like how you do in Photoshop or any other softwares. Let me download and show how this image looks now. And I have my image. Now if I want to further edit it, I don't want any of the elements that are at the bottom and I just want the girl's face to be there, I could do that as well. I am quickly going to show you that. You can increase or decrease the size of the brush depending on the area that you want to get rid of. And it's very easy to use if you see.
that's about it download the picture and you get yourself a clean image of the girl without any background so that's how you could use this third method of using the website to get rid of any sort of backgrounds thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed watching this one like share and please please subscribe to my channel i'll be making a lot more videos covering many more topics on various tricks tools and hacks that can save your time and also make your presentation look fabulous if you want me to make video on any particular topic in powerpoint do write in the comment box and i will surely make that video thank you for watching power of powerpoint by shruti sharma